So what should we do for the intro for this video? I think it should be, hey guys, this is Nick from Fandroid, and today we're unboxing a 3D printer that's supposed to be super easy to build. I think she's got a lot of talent and will probably be taking my job one of these days. But as she said, I'm Nick Gray. She is not, this is my daughter. And today we're gonna be doing an unboxing and setup of the Anchor Make M5C, which is supposed to be one of the easier 3D printers to set up and use. And we're gonna do that for you guys today. I have a little bit of an experience with 3D printers in the past. I've only used one and it's probably been about two years since I've actually printed anything. But Lana here, she's actually been doing some 3D printing at school in one of her classes. So she's probably gonna be helping me out more than anything. But the first thing we need to do is get this thing unboxed. So let's get to it. So let's see what is inside. A set of tools here. Power cable here, and then it box. That should be it. So it doesn't look like there's too many parts here, so it shouldn't be too complicated to get everything set up here. But Anchor Make is saying that the M5C should only take about 15 minutes to put together. So we're gonna start a stopwatch here and see if we can actually beat that 15 minute time. So first up, we gotta get those instructions and get going. As we work our way through getting the Anchor Make M5C set up, let's take a minute to talk about some of the specs and the features of this device. As mentioned already, this 3D printer is built specifically for those who are just getting into 3D printing or for someone who wants something simple and reliable that doesn't break the bank. That being said, this thing is still pretty impressive. Thanks to its high speed printing, which Anchor is calling Power Boost 2.0, which is up to 80% faster than some competing devices, which delivers up to a 35 millimeter cubed per second extrusion rate. But it can also print up to a 50 micrometer resolution when you turn on the precision mode within the app, which means you can get some incredibly intricate prints out of this machine. Since this is a $400 3D printer, AnchorMake didn't include a display here just to make sure that the costs are down and as low as possible. So all the controls for the 3D printer are included in the AnchorMake app. If you're an advanced user, this might sound just a little bit limiting, but it's probably one of the best apps that you can find for a 3D printer, especially if you're a beginner. Getting close to our time here. We are at 12 minutes and 50 seconds, so. We're done with that first page, flipping things over. And that looks like we're it for the assembly. So 13 minutes for the assembly, which isn't bad, but we still need to plug this in and get things set up with the application. So we're not fully done yet. So the next step of the process is downloading the Anchor Make app from the Google Play Store or the Apple App Store, which we're gonna do right now never installed this before so we're going to install that on our device right there probably going to take a minute or two uh, we'll most likely have to set up an account so we'll rock that through this as quickly as possible and then from there we're simply going to click add printer to get this set up to make sure that it's on our wi-fi and connect to our smartphone so we're going to tap to add this 3D printer and then just walk through the setup process, which it's gonna ask us to connect over Bluetooth. So the last thing it's gonna do to get this set up is ask us to scan the QR code on the printer itself, which is right behind this bar here. And that was quick. Running through the last steps of the setup. And that was a loud beep, but it looks like we are done. And now we need to press this play button on the front. During the setup process, the AnchorMake M5C will run through an auto leveling sequence. Just to make sure everything is as level and perfect as possible for your first couple prints. And it will also make sure that you're running on the latest firmware. Printing off our first item was incredibly simple and just as easy as finding something listed within the application, selecting the files, and then hitting the print button. And after that, we were hooked. Over the next few days, we ran the Anchor Make M5C quite a bit, printing out quite a few items that we found listed in the application. 
And since we are so close to Christmas, we did print off quite a handful of 3D models that were perfect for the holidays. So for the last couple days, we've been printing a lot of things. The first one that we printed was this boat. And this one was really cool because it was built all in one and it can spin and stand up by itself. This one is an ornament that you can put a hole through, put a string through here and you can hang it up. Then there's, this is even 3D printed. It's a pen holder and you can put your pens in it. This one is a cute little snowman. And how about that green guy over there? Kirby was my favorite one. Did you kind of freak out when I gave that one to you? Because you didn't know it was coming? Yeah. That's awesome. Now we got one last one here. What's this? This is an ornament that you can put together. So there's one last thing that I want to make. It's a Christmas present for my mom. It's a jewelry holder. So just to show you guys how easy this is. How easy was that? Pretty easy. The jewelry holder definitely turned out better than we expected, and I'm sure my wife will absolutely love it. If you're looking to get yourself your first 3D printer or simply need a reliable 3D printer that won't break the bank, be sure to check out the Anchor Make M5C using the link in the video description below. Thank you guys so much for watching, and thanks to Anchor Make for sponsoring this video.